So then what's, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal? Yeah. So it's kind of a, you know, mini tangent here. It's, I, I, do you have a spirit animal, Rich? Let me ask you that. Do you have a spirit, spirit animal? animal? Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't think I do. You don't think so? See, here's the thing. I went to a, I went to a shaman a, while okay. I was in Egypt. Okay. Now, when trust you're me, 16, these, you're 16, you went to a shaman? Yeah. Well, you got it, man. You got to go to a Bedouin, uh, you know, township and they, you know, speak broken English. But what really attracted me to this one shaman was this deck of cards they had. Okay. And this, on, in this deck of cards, I saw animals on them. And I was like, yo, you know, I, I know a little bit of Arabic because I, you know, read on the plane trying to get a hold <laughs> of numbers to, like, yeah. you know, get a hold of what's what I'm entering in as a 16 year old. And so this, this person spoke a little bit of English too. And I know you asked me what my favorite animal is, but what basically the question is, is what do you see yourself as? What do other people see yourself as and what you truly are? Those are three different animals. Okay. What you see yourself as. Yeah. What other people see you as and what you truly are. What you truly are. And so it's really interesting. So they have the cards out on the table and you, you pick your, your, what you see yourself as like face down. You don't know what it is. And what other people see you as face down and then what you truly are. And it's supposed to reveal aspects of you that you don't know. So I flip over the first one, what I think I am. And I get a shark and I'm blown out of the water. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, wrecked. I'm a fucking shark. That's dope. Like yeah. that's yeah. Take that mom. I'm a yeah. shark. <laughs> I'm <you know>? a shark. <laughs> and so I flip that over. Uh, the next one I flip over is a grizzly bear. So that's what people see you as. Now, at this time, I'm 16. I don't have a beard. You don't have the beard, yeah. You know, I'm I'm more of a grizzly now. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm on a streak. Yeah, yeah, I got a shark, bear, and then my- what are you truly? What am I truly is the real question, Rich. So I flip it over. And I've never been as disappointed. Well, until she didn't text me back. But I, (laughs) I I flipped it over, and it was a red panda. A red panda? That's, red... Not, that's not too bad, though. Dude, I got a shark, a bear, and then a red panda. Ladies this love red pandas. thing that comes up on its, on its like, feet, right? Yeah. So a little red panda, I know you probably know, but for everyone that doesn't know what a red panda is, it looks like a raccoon that's been fried as a marshmallow <laughs> and is dumber. <laughs> it's not even a trash panda. It's just this, this animal that falls out of trees. Anyways... <laughs> Um, then the shaman gives you this book and it's translated in English, Japanese, all these things. And it goes to the page that you're a red panda. And you're like, sorry for your luck, man. You're a red panda. Read yeah. this paragraph. And it was so spot on that it was crazy. I was really? reading it being like, no, fuck no. And like, no way, no way. And then I was like, what? It's like, even it says your strengths, says your weaknesses, says your tendencies, how you with, you know, the ladies in the club, it says, you know, how you treat your mom, like all these different. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, to a T, man, to a T. And so anyways, when people ask me what my favorite animal is, I say uh, dog That's because <laughs> red pandas are so bleh. No, but uh, I think a sea lion is my, is my favorite animal because it's a, you know, it's a doggo and a marine, you know, yeah. put them together, you get a, you get a sea lion. Uh, I spent a lot of time with time with sea lions in the sea of cortez as well and so okay. sharing that um experience with those animals and seeing how playful they are except even as they are wild animals and how they are literally golden retrievers of the ocean they have no ill in their brain Just sea lions sea lions yeah the puppies of the ocean so do you feel do you feel sea lions and animals in general um Sea lions are mammals, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Marine mammals. Yeah. So, do you think each one has different personalities? A hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. And I don't know if that's just because I'm so interested in animal behavior and how they interact. You can predict what an animal is going to do to a degree, but yeah. just as you and I would mm-hmm. interact with a deserted island, you can only predict so far. Yeah, we're probably going to look for shelter. Yeah, we're going to probably look for water. But what day are you going to break? How, how yeah. far can you go before you get pushed too far? And with animals, it's, it's a lot of the same thing, you know, obviously not to that scale, but this other animals interacting with me, how far until I bite them? How far can I go? And that personality okay. changes between 
whatever it is, you know, yeah. whether that be a sea lion or, you know, a damselfish that is two inches big, you know, these, these animals all have their own reality, whether that be simplistic or not, it's still a reality that they're living. Huh. What about yeah. sea turtles? Do they have personalities? Oh yeah. Do you want to talk about personalities about sea turtles? Listen, like I said, it's a family show. I'll refrain from swearing. Okay. I know my mom's probably going to watch this to be your viewer, but sea turtles especially have personalities. They are such assholes. <laughs> <laughs> they are all just big old assholes. Um, when I was working down in the Cayman Islands, I was a, a sea turtle researcher. And one of our jobs okay. is when a female comes up to lay, they go into this kind of coma state when they lay eggs. And that's when researchers come in they take a genetic sample from one of their flippers and they tag them with a metal tag that, okay. you know, has their barcode and we can tell when they come back kind of thing. Right. And if they come back and they have a metal tag, we can scan it. Oh, this is Trudy from 06. Like okay. good seeing you lady. So anyways, they, they're all assholes. Every single one. I've not met a nice sea turtle. And what happens is you have to you know, I'm five, nine, man. I'm like 200 pounds. Yeah. I'm small in height, but I'm pretty jack. You know, I feel like I can hold yeah. a sea turtle. And one of my, um, my superiors says, Hey, Bryce, get on the back of the sea turtle and hold it there while we clip it just in case it wakes up. I'm like, yeah, no problem. This thing is a small animal. I got this. Yeah. I get on this sea turtle, Rich. I get on it. And like I said, I'm backing up. I'm sorry if you see my loafers. I'm sorry. I'm backing up though. I grab this, the carapace of the sea turtle. I grab the shell of it. And this thing just wakes up and takes a huge chunk out of my thigh. Just <laughs> immediately. Doesn't look what it is. Takes a chunk. And I'm swearing, like I said, your kid show. And I'm swearing, I'm swearing. And then it takes the new metal tag on its flipper and slices me down the leg with it. Just, and it what? knows. It knows, man. It knows that it's, something's on it and it just wants to mess it up. You know, like I said, we're, I'm being, I'm, being, I'm holding it, you know, just as I would a woman and it just cuts down my leg. And I'm like, you bitch, <laughs> how dare you? Man? I'm trying to save you <laughs> endangered animal. So anyways, those turtles are, I think what happens is that those animals know that it's a really sensitive time when they come up to shore, they need yeah. to lay eggs, get out of there. Yeah. They got thing, business right? to take care of. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as something impedes it, whether it be a bush, whether it be, you know, a five, nine, 200 pound handsome looking guy, I, you know, it, it doesn't matter to them. It really doesn't. They'll take you out. And so, uh, yeah, of course they have personalities, uh, more of an agenda, but, um, <laughs> you know, a controversial opinion, and I'm really excited to, to hear your, your opinion on it as well. Okay. The worst animal in the world, I will, I'll declare it now clip this future Bryce is a dolphin dolphins what? are no I know I know man dolphins are the biggest assholes in the animal kingdom the only second to maybe an orca because they're big ass dolphins still okay. dolphin but they are just too smart man they're too smart you know they they just know the game they know, they know the how game. to play it they know how to play it too and they're cute yeah yeah, they're, they're cute sounding. They look cute. You know, everyone's watched Flipper. Saves them yeah. from a hammerhead. Absolute assholes, dude. Absolute assholes. Meanwhile, the sharks are getting the bad rap for everything. I know. that. Yo, <laughs> you should see a PowerPoint I made in grade 11. <laughs> <laughs> How sharks are the, the victim of all this stuff. 